Hello everyone, artist Charles Wolf here. Welcome to Impulsive Artistry. Thank you for joining me for today's painting lesson. As you can see, I've put in a high horizon line today, about three-fourths up the canvas. I have marked successive lines in pencil, each one more spaced out than the other. I've marked several lines pointed back to a single point off the canvas, giving me a bit of perspective. And I'm going to use those as the guideline for putting in the layers of the sky. Starting today with some lemon yellow and titanium white with a touch of the liquid white medium. I'm going to be adding in here some orange vermilion in a minute. Give it a pop of color and darkening it to the right hand side to the top of the canvas. Again, I'm being careful to follow my marks in pencil already on the canvas. Starting out today with a bright brush, I'll be using this for the entirety of the sky, cleaning my brush up as needed. Having some titanium white and liquid white mixed together. Not a lot of liquid white, just a little bit to kind of get it loosened up, and get the paint to flow better. It allows me for quicker blending. You can also use things like linseed oil, of course, white spirits. I use the liquid medium, same stuff that Bob Ross uses in his paintings. Not in the same way that he does, I do not coat my canvas with liquid white before beginning in small doses as needed. It helps everything to blend and merge more readily and smoothly. Some more white, quick diagonal strokes with the brush. Blending here. Today's painting is an abstracted landscape, searching for the in-between spaces. It's not quite an abstract, but it's not quite a landscape either. It's sort of impressionistic, and it's that middle ground between an abstract painting that I really like my paintings strive for some of the time. I do like going full abstract and just painting and playing with colors. I also like pulling it back and really going for a nice landscape in an impressionistic style. But today we're going to try to get something that's in the middle between the two styles. Definitely want some color, some depth, and that's going to be apparent as we move forward. But I don't want too much detail, really broad strokes defining the different areas. And you'll see how we accomplish that with the water. The color also will push it more abstract as I will not be trying to create realistic light. This is a very orange sky, and yet the water will not reflect the color of the sky. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Here's some more orange mix and adding a lot more vermilion to my color, pushing the color towards the red, deep orange vermilion, getting more pure with it. This is an oil painting. The colors are so rich and so bursting with pigmentation just love the way that it all comes together. It didn't feel like you could do this piece in acrylic as well. Acrylic has more of a flat look to it. And I really wanted this painting to have a bold richness to it. So of course, oil was the way to go to achieve the effect that I wanted. 
I recently did a big commission in oil paint, large ocean style piece, and so I decided that I was going to do a few oil paintings for you all while I was in that mood and in that zone with my professional painting. Feel free to contact me on Facebook or on Twitter if you're interested in getting a commissioned work done for you, custom made, handmade of course, by me. You can do lots of different things, landscapes, abstracts, and the like. So shoot me a message on Facebook or on Twitter, Impulsive Artistry on Facebook, Art Impulsive on Twitter. We can get that going for you. Lots of orange vermilion up here, almost pure color, really beautiful color, orange vermilion, one of my favorites. And with that, the sky is basically complete. Notice that I'm not over blending my colors, as I want each layer to be fairly distinctive. I'm going back over this section here because closer up you can see the pencil line below. I'm trying to hide it better with this brushwork. Once I'm satisfied that you can't see the pencil lines anymore, I will move on. Grab some titanium white and a clean brush. Touch of the yellow in there as well. Just gonna blend the bottom of this out, a little lower on the left hand side here, matching my horizon line more exactly. Let's move on to the water. Grabbing some cerulean blue, color that I haven't worked that much with, to be honest. Really bright, wonderful color. And the more I play with it and work with it, the more I'm falling in love with it. It's fantastic, great color. Big three inch brush, biggest brush I have. And we're going to be doing some wide swaths of oil paint. This piece reminds me of some of the works of Child Hassam the Impressionist painter. He has some beautiful sea pieces that are almost monochromatic in their composition, really focusing on the blues. I mean, this piece very loosely inspired by his, perhaps. Here's a bit of the lemon yellow and some white with a bright brush. Got a little high in a few spots with the blue. Just gonna fix that real quick with some of the yellow and the white. Clean the brush off, a little more color, and we can straighten things out as needed. Back to my cerulean blue. 3 inch brush. Let's mix together a darker blue, ultramarine blue, and ivory black. 
that black is going to push the blue darker and create some nice contrast for us. Look at that rich pigmentation. It's an effect that you just can't quite get with acrylic paints. I love how smoothly oil paints blend together. You can get some seamless transitions almost effortlessly. It's a bit of a mess though. If you get it on your clothes, your hands, like I always do, you will find that you'll ruin whatever you're wearing. So be very careful about what you're wearing when you're painting along. You can make a mess very quickly. Put a drop cloth down as well. I have dropped many a brush. Thankfully, so far, none on the carpet. Next layer is some more of the cerulean blue and liquid white. Let's lighten that up and we'll start to play that blue below the darker line of the ultramarine and ivory black. We're going to proceed in the same way, alternating the two colors down to the bottom of the canvas. Touch more of the ultramarine in that color there. quickly grab some of the white and the orange mixture with my bright brush and we'll put that down on the bottom as some sand. Nice mirror to the sky above, suggesting but not exactly matching the sky. And we'll fill in this bottom fourth of the canvas. blend out make sure none of the white is showing back to my three inch brush cerulean blue blend that out lost a lot of the dark got to bring that back in more strong it's always easy to make things darker Grab some pure ultramarine here, touch of the black, and let's bring back in this darker color, blending down with it. Back to my ultramarine and ivory black. Lots of the black now, really dark here. And as this dark mix hits some of the white, it's going to turn gray on me in a second. There it goes, which is fine. I don't mind if a little bit of the canvas is showing or if it's a little bit messy right now. Just putting in the color, we're gonna layer over a couple of times with some other lighter colors anyhow. So just get some color on the canvas and we can adjust as we need to. Back to my ultra marine blue. I have two of these very large three inch brushes that I'm switching between as I'm going back and forth between the darker color and the lighter color. More of the dark mixture, ultramarine and ivory black. Let's 
Let's mix together some of the cerulean blue and the ultramarine. Sorry my hands in the way, the cardboard was shifting a lot. I'm trying to keep it steady as I'm using that very large brush and kept moving it over and knocking it over. Back to my cerulean blue, pure blue here. Start to put that in, and I said, you know what, let's make this lighter. Grab my bright brush again, white and the orange mix. Kind of a coral color. And then back to my cerulean brush, and as it hits the white, you'll see it's going to go a little bit lighter here. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And we'll blend that into the darker bit below, sort of imitating waves. See what I mean by, it's an abstract, but it's sort of a landscape. It's somewhere in between. Just blending out here, long strokes to take out the brushwork. Let's grab a small half inch brush, liquid white, touch a little bit of that darker mix. I'm getting some of the blue showing through. I decided to push this darker by grabbing some more of the cerulean in a minute. Really make it look like some thinner waves coming up on shore. touch of the cerulean there and we'll start to lay in this lighter layer because I've grabbed a lot of the medium the liquid white it has made the consistency like ink and it's just running off the brush really easily a thin layer of paint will stick to a thicker layer of paint Gave it kind of a angle, didn't make it perfectly straight across, just to break up this painting and give it some more shape. Just gonna lighten up a few areas in the back here. we are basically done with this piece. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out all of my paintings for sale at my Etsy shop, etsy.com slash shop slash impulsive artistry. Leave me a comment below letting me know what you think. Hit that like button, smash that bell icon once you subscribed to make sure that you get all of my notifications.